what kind of job are you looking for? Um, what type of job do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Something that pays. Good answer. <laughs> All right, so my name is Andrew, and I'm a recent graduate from Texas State uh, with a degree in PR. Um, while I was there, I took some web design courses and worked on a few social media projects. And so I have lots of visuals <laughs> to show you uh, on some of the work that we do there and some of the work that the university is doing. Can you bring the mic a little closer to your okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the Twitter account and YouTube account on Texas State uh, for Texas State. Um, with the uh, Twitter account, they're engaging by um, by having contests or retweets. Uh, with the YouTube channel, they're encouraging subscriptions. Um, for that, they're giving out prizes and things like that. Um, the YouTube channel has right now 150 subscribers. The Twitter account, I believe, has over 1,800 followers. Um, let's see. Uh, the accounts provide consistency throughout the network. Uh, they're using WordPress for a blog as a blog now. Uh, that's a recent add-on. Um, they're using Facebook, of course. They have over 16,000 likes. Um, the cool thing about Facebook is they're really engaging the community there. Students can go there to kind of find out what's, what the university life is going to be like before they get there and interact with students that are already you know, doing it. So I think that that's a big help. Um, for me, it was kind of the deciding factor of me going to Texas State. I kind of did a little research online and found out what they were doing with PR there and that kind of led me down that way. Um, this is a project that we that we did uh, for South by Southwest. Uh, with one of the grad classes there, advanced, uh, advanced Online Media with Cindy Royal, our advanced web design. Uh, she took us there. There were a group of 14 of us. We went there, blogged through uh, WordPress again uh, at sxtxstate.com. We did interviews with anybody that would interview with us. We had people waiting outside of the convention center for anybody that they could grab that was willing to give us even a minute of their time. Um, of course, we took pictures in all the panels. Uh, we met uh, Josh Williams at the social media uh, dinner that Dara and Cindy were honored at. Um, it was a whole lot of fun. We got to experience a, a lot of new and exciting things that we wouldn't have got to experience, I don't think, in the classroom. Uh, so I think it added a lot to the class. Um, it's one of probably my favorite projects that we've done. I got to spend myself two days there inside of with panels and one day uh, on the outsides trying to track people down. Um, so yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, and Cindy was a huge asset to that. Uh, she provided the structure for it and just kind of let us go at our own pace and develop the blog. Um, the next thing I'd like to talk about is actually something I did in Dara's class. Uh, what she was talking about earlier with the um, choosing of clients. Uh, I had her for P PR writing and for campaigns class. Uh, in the PR writing class, we actually had the rot Rotary as well, and we competed uh, for top prize, basically, in the class of who presented the best and gave the best campaign. Uh, in that class, actually, a, a rival team uh, beat us out. Uh, they were able to get thousands of dollars worth of donated products, um, silent auction items, you name it. They, they were on top of it. And so we kind of took that and what we had done the previous semester and integrated it into a new campaign. Um, we worked with them very closely. Uh, we used Eventbrite to create the tickets to, to manage the ticket sales, which uh, automatically created an event on Facebook. Uh, we created the Twitter profile to kind of just promote it. We really wanted to get it out on all fronts just to make sure that if you didn't see it somewhere, you saw it somewhere else. Uh, we used uh, LinkedIn, we created a group there, posted information on the event uh, in the news section uh, and under discussions. Uh, we thought we might get a higher take rate of people who were associated with the Rotary uh, through LinkedIn. Uh, unfortunately, we only, we only got probably five to 10 members that were already LinkedIn members. Um, so, but by engaging all of them, we actually heard people talking at the event telling us, you know, we're here because we saw this on Facebook or we saw someone say that they were coming tonight. So it, it was really successful. We ended up uh, improving ticket sales by about 33% from around 200 to around 300 people. Uh, she and I actually went the night of the event and were able to experience it firsthand. And it was really great having all the, the donors there. Um, we were able to get all the wine donated. Uh, we had food provided. We were able to list the sponsors that helped us out on the web. So 
kind of help them out as well. Um, that was a really fun project, and I think it probably gave me a lot of experience that I'm going to need whenever I you know, get this job I'm looking for. Um, <laughs> the next thing I want to talk about is our Cupcake website uh, and the Advanced Online class again. Uh, we, our final project, we chose to do the cupcakes, our cupcakeries in Austin, and we visited five different locations. Um, basically, on the home page, which is the first one you see here, we have a poll that allows users to kind of interact and tell us which place is their favorite. We went to Sugar Mama's Hey Cupcake, uh, Delish, yeah, Caprimo, um, and Toots, yeah, Toots, which is kind of close to Dripping Springs. They don't have a storefront. Um, and so we just kind of tell you about it on the home page. And then the next page is our interview section. We interviewed all the owners at the different locations and created a video, posted it on YouTube. Uh, and then edited it, of course, to kind of tell a story. Um, on the next page down there, we use Flash to tell a story with pictures and words. Um, we like to use the new technologies as much as possible to tell stories, uh, interactive graphics, uh, data, anything that we can use to tell a story besides words, uh, because that's you know standard. So we're just diving into new technologies and doing the best that we can to try and you know portray a story or, or what, we're, what we're getting from it. Um, with the next one, we took a stream of all the Twitter accounts of the individual cupcake places. They all had social media. Um, uh, so we integrated all those. Um, Sugar Mamas, of course, is one of the most talked about in town, if you guys didn't already know. Um, probably because they're so good. Uh, we, also, we also used uh, Wordle down here. We entered basically all the flavors of the cupcakes at all the different locations, and it generates uh, a Wordle, is what it's called for you, uh, that kind of the larger ones, the ones that are more predominant in the listing, show up larger. Um, and then on the final one, we created a map using Google Maps and put the locations of all the different cupcakes, cupcakeries, and uh, just a little bit of information about them below that. Uh, and you can link to them, get directions, uh, pretty much get all the information you need to find a cupcake in Austin. Um, and then, so this one was a lot of fun, obviously. The research was the most fun, I think. <laughs> um, and then really the final thing that I want to talk about is just what we learned you know, throughout my experiences at or what I learned throughout my experience in Texas State. And it's that the social media, you know, it, it generates stark connections between students and professors in the university. Um, I'm able to go to these guys with any questions that I have and they don't mind that I'm bugging them 24 seven with, you know, my mom questions as I like to call them, <laughs> but that I can't ask mom anymore. Um, <laughs> I get this. Um, we've had projects with Second Life, uh, citizen journalism and blogging. Uh, the, of course, Twitter, WordPress, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Name. Uh, we've created social media campaigns for clients, as I showed you guys. Um, and I really like that the university engages students on the social media platforms. It, I think it really um, creates a following and makes students feel like they're wanted there at that university. Um, all the projects that we've done, uh, Cindy's taken, Cindy Royal has taken us to South by Southwest, the UT Symposium. She and Dara were part of MassCom Week, the organization there where we have professionals come in from all over and tell us you know what they know help us learn uh, in more than just the classroom atmosphere and then uh, the most recent addition was the social media club at Texas State which B is the head of so I think that they're gonna have you know great results there especially with these two guys that have taught me all I know about social media um, and it's just it's just a really engaging university and I think I've, I've taken a lot more away from there than I would if I if I had chosen something else